High school football season kicks off on Friday. The American Heart Association says sudden cardiac death claims uh, claims up to 450,000 American lives each year and most commonly occurs in people with no prior symptoms. And while it is rare in high school athletes, it can happen. As we reported in May, Franklin County athletes are now part of a research study to see if EKGs make, uh, EKGs rather, make a difference. WSLS 10's Jenna Zipton follows up with the team behind the project. In uh, 2005, my sister was a runner at uh, Christopher Newport University, and uh, she passed away from sudden cardiac death. Spencer Lovegrove says it's one of the reasons he's becoming a doctor. So there's a lot to go through. Uh, it's still like really clear in my memory. The pain is something he doesn't want other families to go through. When my sister's teammates came and visited her in the hospital, um, a lot of them felt really, really bad because none of them knew how to do CPR. And they just kept saying if they had known how to do something, then maybe she would still be alive. The second year medical student is part of the team at Virginia Tech Carillion, screening high school athletes and talking to them about CPR. During this first ever mass screening at Franklin County High School, they get family histories, a physical and an EKG. If a red flag pops up, more tests are ordered. There are certain guidelines that are put out by the American Heart Association, but it's not necessarily that if you go to your family doctor, they're going to follow strictly and know exactly what they're looking for. Seven abnormal EKGs required follow-up with pediatric cardiology, but no significant abnormalities were found yet. Dr. Jack Perkins is overseeing the research with the goal of seeing if mass screening events like this one save lives while also saving money. Obviously, any parent is going to say there's no amount of money that you could spend that's not worthwhile. However, the healthcare system at some point does have to think about can we reasonably do this? The bigger part of this is education. Many places have these emergency defibrillators. While sudden cardiac death is not very common in high school athletes, it is among older adults. And so that's the key, telling parents, coaches, and teams that if you see it happen, things like this could mean life or death in just a matter of minutes. Hopefully one or two of those students who go through this will actually be the person that intervenes if something they witness later in life. I do want people to realize that it is something that can happen to them or to their family member and it's something that should be taken seriously. Dr. Perkins wants to see this program expanded in Southwest Virginia to more schools. The American Heart Association says EKG screening is required for many professional athletes, but not for those in high school or college. Jenna Zibton, WSLS 10.